Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. Today, um, I'm going to start the, the Banner Saga series. Um, I've had these games for a while. I started playing it, and then uh, Duelist came up with an update, and then Gwent came out. So, I got these, and then I just kind of never got back to them. But they got a new one coming out here in July, so I think that would give me enough time to burn through both of them uh, i think the first one takes about 10 hours to complete and then the other one uh banner saga 2 takes i think about 14 hours so i don't know it's a pretty cool game it's a strategy game if you like final fantasy tactics and stuff like that it uh you, sh you should really pick it up uh, the artwork on it is amazing and uh, it's a great story um but uh let's uh play a game and get started i'm gonna do some some voice acting in it too, just to spice up a four-year-old game. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survived through a tenuous alliance, driving black destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing is stopped, the sun. been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, the largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. So you're always in this little cave. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Ritzhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. Yeah, and you could see the size of these dudes. They're called Marl. They're so much bigger than the, the people. I love the art. It reminds me of like old oh, He-Man And then this pretty much shows you how the, this is like the tutorial, I like old boy here, he just kind of <laughs> sits back like, go ahead and handle this. Uh, you've arrived just in time, the chieftain in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. This is the chieftain right here. Drag around the screen and see your surroundings, click the check mark to continue. These portraits show the order of initiative, taking turns from left to right, your allies are blue, your enemies are red. It's your turn to act. Yeah, so it goes shield banger and then these guys. So it goes back and forth until it enters pillage mode. Um, movement happens before action. This ring shows your shield banger is active. The blue tiles around him show where he can move. So anywhere he moves, you can get to here. And then these orange or the yellow spaces take what's called um, willpower. 
Right now this guy's five willpower. Some characters fill more than other tiles. The horned allies are a race of giants called Varl, who take up four tiles each, while humans fill a single tile. This can be a huge impact on your strategy. So we're gonna move forward. To target an enemy, click on the tile on which they stand, and the allies' tiles are blue, enemies are red. Target this enemy now by clicking his tile. <laughs> you can choose to either attack an enemy's strength or break his armor. The number beneath each icon, 2 and 5, show the damage you will do to that stat. So right now, he only had, this guy only has 5 health, so we can actually just one-shot him. Strength counts as both health and damage. A loss of 2 strength means you will now do 2 less damage. If strength falls to zero, the character falls in battle. Armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced by attack by a break attack. By breaking armor, you open them up to take more damage in the future. So if you think it's going to be a long battle, you know you can knock this armor down, and then you know your other guys can gang up on him eventually. This enemy only has five strength remaining. A strength attack will kill him. Click the fist now to attack his strength and then confirm your choice. So you pick this and you just click on it. That little star in there is willpower you can use to uh, do an additional damage, however many stars are there. He's down. Each time you, you make a kill, you gain re your renown grows, which is used later to improve your character. So that's how you boost up your stats and stuff. After taking an action, your turn ends. Up next is the enemy. Turns always alternate, even if you are outnumbered. Despite being at full strength, the chieftain will do little damage against your shield banger's high armor. They hit me for one. Now it's your Warhawk's turn. He appears to be out of range of these enemies, but all characters can use willpower to boost their actions. Willpower is a limited resource, so use it wisely. Uh, this guy's eight willpower right now. So we can move all the way up here. It took two willpower. Standard attacks only affect single enemy, but your Warhawk has a special ability that gives him a unique advantage. Click your Warhawk's tile to access his ability. Clicking on your character's tile will bring up all of his combat options, including move, ability, attack, and in turn. Click the purple icon now. The ability description appears in the tooltips below. The Warhawk's Tempest allows him to slam multiple enemies at once. Select an enemy and then confirm your choice. He just one shot at two dudes. That made quick work of the chieftain's bodyguards. When there is only one enemy left, players enter pillage mode. During pillage mode, each character moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. Your allies now get to move twice in a row. <clears throat> if your character does not move this turn, he can regain one willpower. The chieftain will rest this turn. Looks like the chieftain is into trouble. You think? There's two eight-foot dudes in front of him. Your shield, shield banger won't be able to finish the job with a normal attack, but with willpower he can be used to boost your damage. Click the chieftain's tile to attack. Click the fist and then the star above the fist will add willpower. This number of stars each each turn are determined by your exertion stat. So you have one exertion. You'll see the damage number grow as you add willpower. Click a star and then the green check mark to kill this enemy. So now he's got nine health, you're hitting for nine. He's done. The foe's lying dead at your feet. Continue. Like a rabbit wolf, that one. 
How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and var slaughter each other, even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more dreads to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. I am in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. Chapter 1. Only the sun is stopped. You're approached by a familiar man who walks in in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase. Eric, steward of Strand. I manage the governor's business. Ulben, isn't it? It is. The governor tells me you'll be giving us a hand. Scafflings that you didn't hack up in the Great Hall scattered across, scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. So we go to the marketplace, it's highlighted in blue. Let me handle this. You meander through rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases walk on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. Had, I'm not in the mood today. For what? Talking to an idiot. The scaffolding's chieftain bled out about an hour ago, Had. So when you tell me what rat ain't is, the rest of them crawled back into, nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I don't, I don't talk to, they don't talk to me. Had, I had a change of heart. I hope you do give us a hard time. Had sweats visibly, fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his table. Wait, just buy one of these. If everybody thinks I'm getting worked over every week, how am I supposed to know much? Just a little food money, yeah? No. You motion to Gunoff, your enormous bodyguard who looms over the man like a snake over a mouse. Gods, Eric, lying a, a bit heavy, don't you think? Where are the scafflings? Nobleman, up east wall. But that was months ago, last I know. Ed skulks away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hovel, disappearing for a while until this blows over, you figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done here? Gunnuff, you're wearing a green black at the hall. No, just bought him while I was walking around. Why? You look like a frog. Better than an eggplant. Oh, burn. <laughs> 
going off goes off to look at more stalls. Eric, that man of yours seemed unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust Had, but he used to be scafflings. If they're licking their wounds, they're probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman is a mead hall. Best I can tell, the name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy <laughs> who would love to put a few of these skulls in the ground. I'm going to go find him. I'll meet you there. What a luxury. Come on. You've already mopped up worse today. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual tie. I'll remind him. Am I able to save? So we go to the meat house. That's the spirit. Let's say Volgard. Okay, here we go. Volgard boots. The front door opens so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eric is already at the head of the table, his axe drawn. Wide-eyed drunken scaffolding scramble to find their own weapons during tables and mead steins in the process. can't see how far they're going to move. It's this guy's turn first. Oh, you got to hit ready. So this guy can only make it to here. But I think I want to get the guy with the one of the guys has that the shield banger I think no the tempest yeah this guy I gotta get him around this stuff these guys will get worked over pretty quick though it's his turn first though I think I want to move back. I think these guys can get worked over pretty quick. Eleven and nine. I think I go back here. Is Stonewall. We'll just end turn. I think I moved back. Should be able to kill this guy. Attack.
Alright. So I think we gotta start making our way over here for Tempest. This guy. These guys can both move into range here. Oh, this one can't. That's good. So I think we move to here. Whose turn is it next? It's gotta be these guys in the back, right? right. Let's end turn. here. It's a rally. Give this guy a little bit of boost because it looks like he's going to get run over here in a minute. Yeah, I can't kill him. Yet. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so bad. He blocked me in though. Let's move to here. Let's attack this guy. Oh, he's dead in one turn. Seven. Oh. Let's bring him over to here. We can't kill him, so... Well, we'll hit him. Oh, I can't kill him. Let's just kill him. Oh, what was that? He like ran through me. So we move back one. We attack this guy. So it's not looking too bad. I think we block off here. But that tempest though. I think we go down to go down to here. Oh, this guy sucks. Oh, there we go. Hit him for 11. Can't I Tempest? I 
think we go here. So we could take him out. So we can hit this guy for four, this guy for three, this guy for four. We got, we can exert. I think we save this guy. Because these two can get hit with the, um, the special. Oh, it's not going to kill him. I can't use willpower. Oh, you use willpower once and then you can't use it again. Wait. There we go. Kill that guy. Boy, they're trying like heck to kill this guy. We come down to here. One exertion. Can we kill him? Yep. So we take him out. Pillage mode. Uh oh. How much, uh. Let's move up here. It's his turn next. Get out of the way here. Why does this guy not take any, like, health? Well, it's not gonna kill him. I hope he don't die. Kill him. You're dead. We got him. Promotion tempered by blood and pain. Nice. I'm going to end it right here, though, guys. Um, I'll keep going, though, with it. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, if you're a fan of the saga, let me know. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.